What's up, everybody? Peter Tragos here, lawyer you know. Uh, oh, no intro today, I guess. Um, we have a lot to talk about tonight, but as you can tell, it's a little bit later than normal start. Full day today. A lot of fun. I'm wearing my Cinco de Mayo hat for everybody. Um, and we've got a lot to talk about. Um, a lot happened in trial today. And because some of these videos are going rather long, I've decided to, because there's no court tomorrow, kind of split it up into two parts. So in today's video, we are going to recap the first half of the day, uh, basically up until about lunchtime. And then I'm going to answer your questions. And then tomorrow during the case by case with Tragos Law, at about 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will go through the second half of her testimony today and answer more questions going into the weekend. Um, a lot of stuff happened today that I thought was legally significant um, and how the judges and the lawyers acted I thought was important. And surprisingly enough, I think that there was a female in the courtroom today that stole the show from my perspective and from what I saw, and that was Camille, Johnny's lawyer. I believe that's her name. Um, she stole the show, in my opinion, with her lawyering, but she also let us all know about some of the mistakes potentially Johnny and his lawyers have made throughout the case. Because there were points during Amber's direct today where Camille would object to something, the judge would sustain the objection, would not let in some piece of evidence or part of a piece of evidence, like part of a text message. And yet that piece of evidence was already entered and was already allowed. And Elaine, if she was as prepared as Camille, would have already known that and just gotten it in and done it. But the judge got annoyed at one point saying, can you guys keep up with what's going on with evidence? Because this is not my job. This is your job. And if I've already admitted something into evidence, I don't want to be ruling on a wasting time. So I thought while Camille crushed today, it showed us that Johnny Depp's lawyers potentially are not being as aggressive as they should. And when I say that, I don't mean they should be acting like Elaine or Rottenborn and going kind of overboard and almost arguing with the witnesses. But what I mean by that is exactly how Camille acted today. You object when it's necessary. You keep stuff out that, that should be kept out. You don't allow stuff in just for lack of trying. You object when it's appropriate. You make those objections. You hold Elaine to the proper rules of evidence, not, well, I said what if any, because that is not a legal argument or a legal response to an objection. So, you know, that stuff today was very frustrating watching Elaine lawyer, but it was very fun watching Camille lawyer. Um, and I, I kind of said it early in the case, people asked me who I thought Johnny's best lawyer was. And I did say Camille, I didn't know her name, but I said the female lawyer sitting to the left of Johnny. I really don't know many of their names, any of the lawyers there getting to know them as we go, obviously, and the more that they do in the trial. Um, but she crushed today. This is what it's supposed to look like. You pay attention. You hang on every word. As you're reading transcripts, you're listening with one ear. You stand up. You're objecting. You know what your objections are. You make proper – the way you're supposed to make an objection in a trial is, you know, people say you shouldn't make speaking objections, and that's correct. But what's – a speaking objection is not objection hearsay. Yes, you are speaking and saying hearsay, but you're not saying objection hearsay. Amber didn't say that. It's probably unreliable. We can't believe what her friend said or what she thinks Johnny said or whatever. You don't explain why it's unreliable. You say it's hearsay and the judge knows because the judge knows the rules of evidence that that's why you want to keep it out. On the other hand, you have Elaine saying it's not hearsay, Judge. Johnny was talking to Amber through his assistant. Therefore, it's Johnny talking so that now the jury thinks, wait, are they trying to keep out Johnny's words? I thought we were allowed to get Johnny's words in. That's why you don't do speaking objections because you're not supposed to taint the jury. That's why you go up for sidebar, which they've been doing more now than they did at the beginning of the case. But watching Camille do this is how lawyering is supposed to go during a trial. 
Um, so I thought that was really fun to watch today, even though she's not even questioning a witness. She's not crossing a witness yet. I can't wait to see that. But just how she's controlling this part of direct, um, I, I think she's doing she's just doing a smashing job. Um, and I think Elaine seems very nice. Her demeanor is totally different than when she's crossing witnesses. Um, she seems a little, I don't know if I want to say unprepared, but like shell shocked whenever she sees a um an objection or whenever part of their script goes off. Um, I, I did kind of think for the beginning portion of today, was it better or worse than yesterday for Amber? I want to say it was a little bit better. Um, but I think it was worse for Elaine and better for Camille. I think they kept a lot of stuff out. A lot of Amber being able to say what Johnny was thinking or why he did certain things, which is totally inappropriate. It's obviously speculation. Um, she tried to get into a bunch of hearsay, what other people said, what friends said, what the kids said, what the assistant said, what his security guard said. Um, so, you know, that's inappropriate. Um, and I, I think that it was kind of all over the place. It was a little bit scattered. There's not a great outline. And for something that's pretty scripted, that's kind of surprising. I should have started out at the top with, we got confirmation today of what seemed to be no earpiece for Amber Heard, nobody feeding her lines um, in her ear as she did have her hair pulled back. Um, so, you know, that was, that was interesting because a lot of you brought that up yesterday. And it seemed like we got a lot of the same, honestly. If I'm if I'm being honest, I'm not sure how much new stuff is coming out, or are they just continuing to repeat that Johnny is a serial abuser um, in the worst sort of way, leaving bruises, scratches, blood, broken pieces of her face um, behind, um, with no real connected, corroborated documentation, medical records, treatment, um, anybody else testifying that this happened the way that she has it. Um, so there was a lot more of that, but I, we talked about this in the beginning of the case that Elaine and Rottenborn were more local attorneys. They were more aggressive. Johnny's attorneys kind of from all over, but they need to realize that in this courtroom and with this judge, you can be a little bit more aggressive. You can kind of tell the judge what you think should happen and make the judge make a call. You can control witnesses. You can cut them off. You can make them not um, just continue to explain their answers over and over and walk uh, walk all over you. Um, so let's get to some of the specifics in the first half of the day today for part one uh, and part two tomorrow. Like I said, we will get through the second half of the day. Um, so take a second, like the video if you haven't already. And if you're one of the 70% of people watching this that is not subscribed to our page, Make sure you hit subscribe and the reminder bell because we do these lives all over the place um, based on what my schedule is. And tomorrow, 2 o'clock, just works. Uh, I've got a lot of work to do in the morning, and then I have some family stuff in, in the evening. Um, so 2 o'clock is when we're going to do this tomorrow. So make sure you hit that reminder bell for that. And after I'm done going through the specifics and before we get to the questions, we are doing another giveaway today, a 50K giveaway. Um, and we're almost to 60K. So if we hit 60K, before tomorrow's live is over, I'll do another giveaway in tomorrow's live for a 60K giveaway. But we're doing our second 50K giveaway. I think we're doing one of the actual Tragos, Sardis, and Tragos um, injury attorneys t-shirts, which you cannot buy. is not part of the merch. It's actually just our firm t-shirts, but we're giving one of those away. Um, I, I've seen a lot of people in the chat and on Twitter mention the talented Mr. Ripley. Um I brought that up immediately on Nick Ricada's channel as she said that, which I thought was really interesting. I don't think it was literally line by line like some people are saying on Twitter and I guess some other people are saying on YouTube, but it was very close and the same exact sentiment. Um, and we talked about it, um, was that yesterday? It feels like a week ago. All right, so what did Amber talk about today? She talked about the fact that Johnny was again controlling in her career and the way that she could dress and who she could do movies with and whether or not there could be sexy scenes. Um, she would have to look for clues when he was on drugs and deal with his mood swings, whether he was up or down, crying all the time, wanting to have sex all the time with her. It wasn't making sense. Um, he had lackeys that would protect him and do anything from him or for him. And she had nobody to back her up, which is basically her saying, this is why my story is 
contradicting to all the other witnesses. Uh, she has, uh, to counter all of his stories, the Paul Bettany story on the island, she had to say everything was fine, and then he went on a bender after being sober because Johnny's story was she was a jerk to Paul Bettany's son, and that's why she had to leave. I'm um, getting some questions already about a bunch of the pictures of him being passed out. We'll talk about that more in the question and answer portion, but there was a lot of those, um, and she you know, connected them to drugs and alcohol. Um he was trying to hide his drinking and stress from the kids. He had problems with his career that were stressing him out, which is important to uh, damages, that that was the reason why he was um, stressed out or that's the reason why he was losing business. It wasn't because of her. Um, and then also the the low blow always that, that Amber never seems to shy away from, which is that he was trying to hide it from his kids. He was embarrassed of how he was acting in front of his kids. His kids were embarrassed. His kids felt bad. This was... A, uh, uncomfortable for his kids, total low blow, um, really horrible to use that. But if it's true, it's important. And a lot of the stuff you have to realize if it's true and if the jury believes it, these are horrible portions of the story. This morning, I thought she did a good job explaining some stuff that if it was true would be really important. Um, but we have to think critically about this and think about the recordings and think about the other testimony. And that's what makes it difficult to believe. But if you believe it, it is very powerful. And I totally understand how powerful this can be. If you think this lines up and this makes sense. Um, so one of the things I hate is people that, that, I don't want to say people that are fake. That's obvious. But when she says things like, he calls me uh, the C word, the B word, um, an a-hole, you know, whatever, a, a dirty whore. And then she says things like, he said so many bad things to me, call me so many bad names, I don't feel the need to repeat it because I'm too embarrassed or it's too bad to repeat. It's like you just said 25 vulgar things that he called you. Um, so why now try to act like you're not going to do that? So that's tough, um, for, for me. Um, he would go with his, uh, here, he wanted her to take a security with him, would give her his credit card. She obviously wouldn't accept that because she wouldn't accept that from him. Uh, they talked about getting married. They talked about, she talked about the proposal today. Um, it felt impulsive and she knew Johnny was so impulsive. Um, and you could just hear how she would explain them again, falling in love and getting engaged. And to me, it was laborious. We finally had some objections that she was being non-responsive and just going off on a narrative. And the judge agreed and, and sustained most of those objections. Tons of objections today. Tons of sustained objections. Tons of inadmissible or unreliable evidence kept out today, which I think was good. But it was obvious that they wanted her to stay on the stand until the end of the day today um, and not start her cross before this break or not even stop talk, stop questioning her on this break. Um, he introduced weed to his daughter. I think it was a very weird story that she thought was inappropriate. And I guess he got mad at her because she said something about it, but she said 50 times to the jury. I know it's not my place. I know it's not my place, but I felt like it was my place and I did make mention of it. So I think she was just kind of play to a jury. Like if one juror, says, that's not your place, then she admits, okay, I know it's not my place, but if another juror says, well, you're going to be the the stepmom and the new wife, so you should protect those kids, then she wants to make sure she checks that jury off, jury off as well. Um, she was falling in love with the kids. They were part of the family. She loved everybody. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Lots of questions about Kate James, I think it was, her assistant, because she testified lots of objections. They basically didn't get anything out from her testimony, which I thought was really interesting. Um, okay. The entire story about her really wanting a prenup and going to see a lawyer and bringing a prenup to him. And then he tore it up. He got mad. He said, what do you want to leave? He didn't want a prenup. None of that makes logical sense. Okay. I'm not saying it can't be true because it can be true. And sometimes stuff like that does happen. But again, we can't just let everything go to the wayside and say, I'm just going to believe her because I want to, I want to believe her. But 
she, he's the one with all the money, which she even said I had a modest apartment. I didn't have a lot of money, came from working class, was trying to string jobs together. He obviously was worth half a billion dollars. And then number two, he is accusing you of cheating all the time, thinking you're unfaithful, um, not happy with how you're acting and how you're you're dressing. Yet he doesn't want a prenup. <clears throat> doesn't make sense to me. If you think she's being unfaithful, you're having all these issues, that would be all the more reason for a prenup. Uh, the engagement party, he goes to the coat closet and does drugs with her dad. So many stories about drugs. And at one point she said, you know, I had experience with my drug, with drug use from my family. Um, how about yourself and your drug use? It's got to be consistent. Say what you want about Johnny's testimony. If you think it was too Hollywood or too verbose, but at least he was consistent. Right. He did drugs. He had his problems. He had his demons. Um, he worked too much. Sometimes he was a diva in drugs in Hollywood, but he never beat her. And there was all sorts of corroborating evidence to that. She was going to shoot a film with James Franco. She would fly from LA to New York. She tells Johnny and she explains the story as Johnny was like, why would you tell me that? Why would you tell me that? Like, that's going to wreck his world. We've all probably been there before. Like, why would you tell me such a thing to make me miserable? And she seemed like that was so shocking that he would say that to me. When if you flip it and think about it from the fact that, well, maybe she is using that as a manipulation tactic. Maybe she is making him miserable with that. Maybe that's exactly what she was doing. And now she's giving us Johnny's side of the argument. So I think she's done that a couple times and she has to be careful about giving us a logical argument as to why Johnny would get mad or Johnny wouldn't like what she's doing. All right, let's see what else. I will get to the Super Chats here um, as soon as I'm done going through part one. The Boston flight, the boot in her back, kicking her down. Everybody was there and saw it, but everybody was protecting Johnny. Yet everybody that testified that was there, I know we had at least one person that was on the plane. It didn't happen. Um, Johnny uh, sucking oxygen. The guy that testified was like, what? But that's part of Amber's story, and you could tell when her lawyers were asking the questions that didn't make sense. And all the witnesses were like, what? I don't know what you're talking about. It was clear that was coming from Amber and that was part of her story, which again, to me indicates the less likely that it would be true and consistent. I think my light is flickering or is it just me? Um, he would throw things at me. Uh, he would say things like, oh, did you want Franco to do this? Did you want him to do that? Did you use tongue? Did you slip tongue? Insert expletive here. Okay. He slaps me in the face on the plane in front of people. First time that's ever happened in front of people. Uh, and then he said, what are you going to do about it? So the sound guy has to be totally lying. Johnny Depp has to be totally lying in order for Amber Heard to be telling the truth. Okay, let's see. And no one said or did anything to help her. Jerry Judge, the security officer who can't testify, um, she tried to get what he said, but that was objected to, hearsay, and kept out. Then the adrenaline diaries where she had to talk about, you know, what kind of Johnny was showing up. Um, there was a part where she talked about Dr. Kipper and how, how Johnny made Dr. Kipper's close friend be her lawyer or her doctor, and he assigned a nurse to follow her, keep tabs on her, report back to Kipper, who would report back to Johnny. Again, an objection to keep that out. Um, but they didn't strike that answer, so that actually did come in. Um, we both called him a monster. We called each other ugly names. It was so hard. There were a lot of tears, you know, or crying and choking up in today's testimony. Um, I put my smile on. I did notice she also wore glasses a few times. Some people were calling her out for that, but she did wear glasses and no earpiece today. Um, he was taking double the amount of drugs. Again, when we're talking about the past out picks and the fact that Johnny took drugs, drank alcohol, which we know. Um, she did her best to take care of him. You know, she's not a nurse, but I'm dealing with, um, I'm dealing with, uh, somebody that, you know, is going through detox. And he said multiple times, I saved his life. People are saying no tears, one single tear. I mean, a lot of crying 
um, mm-hmm. on the sand, it, whether or not tears are there. And that was basically part one and what happened. And there's a lot more of things like that. We get into some more vulgar stories and some more crazy stories, which we'll talk more about tomorrow or in the questions. But yeah, people say, was she really crying? I don't know. You know what I mean? And and there, somebody tagged me on something on Twitter where she was like, when she wiped the tears, she was like, <laughs> it was like very, very funny and weird. Um, but yeah, so that was basically what a lot of the testimony was about today. Um, and, and we'll get to more of it again, like I said, tomorrow. But let's get to some Super Chat questions here after we announce our winner of the second 50 day giveaway. The question I believe was what was the, what are the four lawyer names in our law firm? And the answer that was the winner, but there's some ones I want to read here that are uh, funny as well. Um, The winner was cloud red Barrett. Cloud Red Barrett. Um, if you're on here or listening later, send us your address to lawyer you know at gmail.com and we will send you a shirt. Um, and here is what he said Peter L. Tragos Esquire, that's me, in parentheses, the lawyer we know. Uh, George Tragos Esquire, in parentheses, the conciliary and criminal defense giant from the intro. Peter Sardis, in parentheses, the professor again from the intro. And David Neiser, nickname TBD. Um, the other one that I thought was funny here was, um, okay, there's two other ones that I thought was funny. Uh, George Tragos, a.k.a. Big Tragos, Pete Sardis, the other Peter, Peter Tragos, the lawyer we all know and love, a.k.a. Tragos Jr., and Dave Neiser, the mysterious one. And the last one, a potentially most fun one, George Tragos, managing partner with 40-plus years of experience, uh, Peter Sardis, highly respected attorney, ex-military officer, Peter Tragos, rising star and YouTube superstar, and Dave Neiser, expert in personal injury. Um, oh, there's one more that's funny. This is from M. Swartz. George Tragos, the silver fox. That's pretty funny. Peter Sardis, smiley, but I see all. Peter Tragos, ooh la la with brains. And David Neiser, yeah, I know I look like a hot cop. Love your videos. Thank you. Um, Cole, Part Italian, mostly Greek, but a little little snippet of Italian in there. All right, let's get to what most of you are here for, and that is the Super Chat questions. Jill Stadler, thank you for the Super Sticker, starting out with an easy one. Kate Priest, what did you think about that lie fest? Um... It's tough. To, I, I hate calling people liars, right? But I think that there is some evidence that is uncorroborated, and even the pictures that she showed didn't seem to line up with the timeline. I still don't see anything that looks like a broken nose. At least I think we saw a bloody lip today at some point. We did see some bruising. It just isn't really crossing the line like I think <coughs> she is describing in her testimony. That's why I keep saying she's— She's creating this huge burden that I don't think her testimony is backing up. Industry Rajan is back. BPDs cannot tolerate the gray. Everything is black and white, i.e. AH has to be completely innocent and JD has to be all evil. Can Curry testify to the totalizing nature of Amber Heard's testimony to bolster the BPD assessment profile? I think Dr. Curry has a lot of ammunition to work with in rebuttal should he call her. Thank you for the comment. Way Brenda, have you seen the picture of yet of Elon Musk and Amber Heard? Elon has a huge black eye. I bet she gave it to him. I have not seen that picture. Doesn't seem like he's going to testify, so I don't think we're going to get that information in. Katrina Raven, can JD's team bring in the obvious posed crying photo taken today for nothing else but getting it before the jury toward their performance claim? No. That's not going to happen. A picture that was taken of her during the trial, the jury saw it. They can rely on their own um, recollection. Anna Lee, thank you. I don't know if these things that have no words in them are super stickers, which is what I've been calling them, or if YouTube's blocking the comment for some reason, but this is what it's showing for me, Anna Lee, but thank you. Did anyone notice her pictures didn't have dates or times? Yes. And that's where they talked about the problem with the metadata. I know that was part of it, but it's also she can't even testify and put them in a timeline, which is tough, in my opinion. 
Industry Rajan, I heard that there's an audio of the immediate aftermath of JD losing his finger and that AH admits, admits to apologizes for causing the injury if excluded because other is on audio. Can the transcript be used? Potentially, um, they can transcribe it if they have a reliable transcript and block out everybody else's talking. But I kind of think like, I don't want to skip ahead to that testimony, which we're going to talk more about tomorrow. It almost sounds like she kind of admits it. Almost. But she says it was an accident. Chamomile tea, but she said she didn't know his finger was hurt. Um, can parties settle at this point? The trial is grueling to watch. Can't imagine living it. Love from Canada. Thank you. Yes, parties can settle anytime, even while the jury is out talking, or even after a verdict. They can give a $50 million verdict, and Johnny can still settle for $1 with Amber Heard, um, maybe if he wants an admission, because just because he has a judgment doesn't mean that she has to admit it. She can still fight it, especially in the court of public opinion. Um and so, but yeah, they can settle at any point. There's no, in civil cases, there's no point where you're like, where the judge is going to say, no, we have to keep this trial going. The judge probably thinks, well, I'm away at a judicial conference, perfect time to settle. I don't think this is going to settle. I think Johnny wants this to, to pan out. 7,000 people now are here, which is crazy that that seems like the new norm. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please take a second, subscribe to our channel, like the video. I guess that helps with the algorithm and helps more people get in here. So if you haven't hit the like button yet, please take a second and hit it. Um, and we are going to continue on with questions. Thank you, Jilly Stadler. Charity, Ben Chu did a fist bump when Amber mentioned something about Kate Moss. Do you know why he got so excited? No, because as I said, I'm trying not to do a lot of the outside research, but I've seen a lot of people talking about this. So we'll see if she just opened the door to something. Two shock value auction. Thank you for the super sticker. Amelia J. Elaine's leading Amber all the way. I was so past. I would have objected. They did object a lot, but sometimes it doesn't matter. You have to balance looking like a jerk and objecting too much with keeping important things out. And I thought Camille did a great job today. A couple were unnecessary probably, but most of what she objected to today was keeping out stuff that was inadmissible or unreliable and should not come into evidence and the jury should not hear it. Um, it was funny how Elaine would have to like mention the movie that Amber was in to try to help her out a couple times. Can they put Johnny back on the stand or rebuttal? Yes. T. Odom, thank you. Tammy Danny, did you see Johnny's public statement? I did not see Johnny's public statement after court today, I assume. Chaos Kitty, it's sounding like a badly scripted Lifetime movie to me. This seems to be almost the consensus. Wayne Lang, thank you. Thank you, April. Courtney, oh my gosh, did you see AH pose for a PR photo uh, on stand today? Uh, no, I didn't see it. Okay, so that must be what somebody else was referencing. So not while the jury was there, but afterwards, she posed for somebody to take a picture while she was pretending to cry on the stand. So <laughs> can you put that picture in? Probably not. But you can absolutely ask her about it on cross. You stayed after, right, to get your picture taken of you on the stand. Why? Where'd you post that? You can ask those questions. It's fair game. You can ask those questions because, again, it goes to bias and it goes to her performing the hoax, which is what this claim is. Cora Montgomery, how effective do you think the picture she took of him sleeping will be? I felt that showed she was trying to set him up sneaky and dirty to do. I don't see any good reason why she takes those pictures. I know she said to remind Johnny what happened because he would leave so he wouldn't have to see my face. She would say things like that. Um, I don't think it looks great, especially when Johnny said, I mean, there was a couple where he did just look like he was sleeping, like on the couch. And he said, you say passed out, I say sleeping. A couple of those in the chair doesn't look good. But what does that prove, right? Proves he does drugs and drinks alcohol and passes out. Doesn't prove he's an abuser, but it's not good. And if there are people in the jury that think, and we've said this from the jump for people that think I'm biased, We've said this from the jump. If people think alcohol and drugs are a gateway to abuse, then they may think Johnny is an abuser just based off that, which is why Amber Heard's going so hard. That was one of the main first questions I asked in that very early on video, and 90% of you said, no way, it is not a gateway, and only about 10% said it was a gateway. So, But it is something to think about, because if, if a juror thinks that way, it could be a hung jury, or they could flip the whole jury. Bruce Parker, JD's lawyers may mess up cross like they did with Hughes. If I was JD, I'd be very scared of that. What to do? I mean, there's nothing you can do, but at least it's going to be, it sounds like a different lawyer is going to cross. It seems like it's going to be Camille, obviously. So maybe it'll go better. Thank you, April. Marina, 
age terrifies me. She would have killed Johnny. Then it would have been even more like talented Mr. Ripley. If JD's team allows, are they allowed to call the witnesses on the plane? Yes, and they already did call one. I think the guy with the white hair, if I remember correctly, was on the plane. I do believe Judge, one of the security guards, is dead, so they can't call him. Do you think juries ever take sides based on how much they like the lawyers? If so, Amber Heard is in trouble, in my opinion. Yes, I have heard that. I've heard they really like some lawyers. They really hate some lawyers. We always try to tell them not to pick based on the lawyers. Um, more so, they choose based off the clients than the lawyers. But yes, it can come into play for sure, which is what makes jury selection and opening and closings and this whole thing nerve-wracking for some people. And it's not just public speaking, but it's people literally judging you. That's what trial law is. So you have to be cognizant of that, um, and you have to have some social awareness. And I think that's important. And, and again, I think stuff like this, talking to you all, getting your opinion, getting your insight helps me fine tune those trial skills. I, I never really have an issue. I wasn't one of those people who cared a lot what people think growing up. Um, so that's that's makes this easier. Um, but I learn a lot and I want to, um, you know, be socially proper and acceptable while representing my client in a case and not do things that I think make sense or are sarcastic, which I like. And people say, no, 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 no you can't do that. I'd be appalled by that can learn a lot um, on a YouTube channel talking to you all. My coon dog can hunt. If any of you would like to see a true victim of DVSA, please let me know, and I will gladly send you my statement to the judge with regards to my personal abuse. I will absolutely redact names of all parties. I don't think that they need that necessarily, but I think that other people's experiences do come into play where, and I've seen a lot of people talk about this, that Johnny seems more like a victim and how he acts while he was on the stand and while Amber's on the stand versus how Amber acted when he's on the stand and while she's on the stand. Tragic Mouse. Isn't it strange Amber Heard's face wasn't destroyed by Johnny Depp's rings when he attacked her? Yes, and somebody points that out every single video, and it is absolutely true. Cake. I started laughing when we saw the pics after the punches to her face and broken nose, literally a small mark under her eyes and dry lips. I think it was probably more than that, if we're being fair, but we have no timeline, we have no dates, we have no... Um, foundation for that, so it's tough for me to actually know what that is. And we have no medical records. Cora Montgomery, also, her pics, I didn't see the damage she would have had from beating. She supposedly got, said blood everywhere, but didn't take a pic of that. Exactly. That's the other thing. She explains a slew of beatings and injuries, but these are the pictures we get from somebody who clearly documents things. Doesn't make sense. Relly Rocco. Amber talked about Kate Moss and the stairs. Johnny's team looked like they got something. They were happy. Did you see the video? No, I haven't seen the video. Love your channel. Thank you so much, Relly. Um, I didn't see the video, and I'm really trying. I want. It makes me want to go look it up, to be honest. Especially when we have a week off now. But I'm going to try not to watch it unless it comes into evidence, and I'm going to try not to guess what her lawyer is going to do. But when they do something, then I'll explain why they got so excited. More reactive than uh, projecting something. Objection heard say, don't stream with popcorn, aren't as unbiased. However, today popcorn had real DVSA people call in heartbreaking and believable versus Amber's story. Really sad. Yeah, it's really sad. I mean, we've dealt with a lot of it ourselves and kids too. It's, it's tough. It's a messed up world. Melissa Damron Fulkerts, behaviorally, her start stop sentences and changing tense mid story are indicators of deception. She was off the deception charts, y'all. Thank you, Patricia, Patricia Hassett. April Wright, I feel she is overdramatic in her testimony and a pathological liar. It was way too much acting and overkill. Almera was just on a different site. Janine Driver, CEO of Body Language Institute, and she said that AH showed a lot of deception and she is the aggressor. So it's interesting, and those channels are cool, and I've heard a lot of people talk about them, and they love them, they eat them up, they crush here on YouTube. That type of stuff is not admissible in court and at trial um, for a lot of reasons. So it's it's tough for me to really have a comment on that. They would be the experts on that, so I would definitely defer to what they say about what the body language shows. I've never you know, crossed an expert or deposed an expert on that type of thing. Amy Sadler, the picture of her scalp was suspicious to me. No scabs or pus like she stated in her testimony. Picture looked like a regular scalp to me. This is a good and very smart and important point. The picture could mean something. She could have gotten beat. The bruising, the blood, the lip, all could have happened. 
But because she describes her him holding her down and beating her across the face nonstop, calling her names with all of those rings and blood going everywhere and pus and everything, like you said, because she explains it like that, this is an example of her creating such a high burden that the pictures do not prove, which makes her story less believable rather than more believable, which I think is what she thinks by giving more details. Good point. Pamela, there was such a stark change in appearance from today and the other days, tailored mocking suits um, to frayed spinster librarian. It seemed fake. I do think that her look is very um, thoughtful. She does it on purpose. Sayotha Vest, we need more information about the assistant claiming AH stole her story. Source Daily Mail via Google search. Second issue, ambient plus booze equals total amnesia. Janet Howgate, I give up not paying to me. I don't know what that means. Maybe you're saying not playing to you or not. You're, you don't believe it, I think is what you mean by this comment. Courtney, her pausing for PR photo on the stand after crying was so baffling to see. I was so shocked and unnatural in this context. I agree with you. I agree with you, but the court's probably not letting them take pictures during the trial. But I don't know why they don't just take a screen grab from like any of the YouTube channels streaming it. 9,000 people in the chat. We broke all of any records for this channel last time where we had 11,000 people. So it's crazy that we're right around 10,000 people again. Take a second, hit that like button um, so more people will come. And subscribe to our page because I'd love to get you in the comments and talk more about what you guys care about. JJ Doe, today Amber Heard said she considers herself independent. Can't remember who, Curry Hughes. I thought Amber Heard admitted to being codependent in one of their testimony. I think that was actually in the nurse notes. Amber's own self-reported words was that she she's a codependent. I think. I could be wrong, though. Kathy, having been sexually and physically abused, my memory was not all the tiny details, but trying to stay alive. This is what I've heard over and over again, and this seems to be true to me. Uh, do you think a mostly male jury will be turned off by her? Again, I'm not sure the male-female thing will really matter besides with somebody like Dr. Hughes, who basically says all men are abusers and they can't really be the victims unless it's of another man. Marina, if Amber's feet were so cut up from the smashed glass, wouldn't there have been bloody footprints? The nurse reports about her injuries as well as being taken to the hospital like Johnny, zero proof. You said it. Wasn't really a question there because you answered it. Uh, Soul Garden. AH testimony matches Dr. Curry's description of histrionic PD to a T, flowery language, dramatic language, no substance, mimicry, everything, poster child for HPD. And I think we're going to get more of that on rebuttal. Sue, didn't they open the door when Amber Heard talked about his affair to talk about her affairs? I mean, her affairs are already open the door and they've already talked about Elon Musk and Franco and the intimate relationships that we heard or that we saw from Dr. Hughes. So I think that door has already been opened. Now, whether she's going to admit the truth or they're going to impeach her with anybody, who knows? Hera, testimony about police calls open the door to Tasha. Not, not on their own, but there are other things that we talked about in the last video that I think opened the door to that. Tarantula Ravenblood. One thing I can't get out of my mind is why didn't he move her into one of his mansions on Switzer since he spent more time there than ECB? Hmm. So you're thinking maybe he wanted to keep her away from him? JD's attorneys are from Brown Rudnick. Camille Vasquez was her name. She's based out of California. Ben Chu is based in D.C. Thank you for that, Emil Amelia. J.J. Doe, Dr. Kipper buys black lace gown for Amber Heard gift. Weird. <laughs> it's like uh, Buddy the Elf for someone special. Uh, Damon Barbie, did A open the door for impeachment when she mentioned having to apply makeup to her face before doing the show she was supposed to do back in 2015? <clears throat> I also heard she said something like, I did a movie with no sex scenes and no makeup. And then she's like, well, I mean, almost no makeup. It's like, which is it? Yeah, her, the whole makeup line to me is just very weird um, and almost baffling. Janet Howgate, why bother when you don't answer me? I'm a newbie and want to be heard. Okay. I am here reading literally every single Super Chat and even some other questions. Odetta Garcia, she truly is not prepared for cross. And if I miss them, I apologize. I don't do it on, on purpose. This is fun. If you don't want to send a super chat, you do not have to send a super chat. Uh, I will always try to read all of them. But if I miss them, I miss them. I apologize. I don't do it on purpose. But everybody does need to relax. 
Um, she truly is not prepared for cross. Too many conflicting accounts. His right non-cast hand, right cast hand in the same story. It's hard to keep some of those details straight when you're telling the story like she's telling it. Nick Neal, baffling her lawyer appears to be coaching Amber's answers on the stand. And if she doesn't comprehend the basic protocol, word of the day, leading. So it's not uncommon to lead sometimes if it's foundational or you're trying to get it moving. I think this trial has kind of blown that out of proportion a little bit. But it definitely seems weird that Amber can't remember the names of the couple movies that she's been in or timelines or dates. That stuff does seem a little weird that Elaine has to has to lead her. Thought on her pretending to be scared of J.D. Vid. If you listen to those recordings, she ain't scared. Greg Towley, are you a lawyer? Yes, I am. Personal injury lawyer, Tampa Bay, Florida. Uh, we also do criminal defense in our firm. Um, so if you ever have a need in that area, all across the United States, give us a call. Real lawyers. We full practice full-time, full firm, four lawyers, full staff, um, offices in St. Pete and Clearwater. But we do stuff all over, like I said. So, yes, real lawyer. Sayotha Vest, how does anyone have the worst day ever and go to bed after the incident? Why didn't the staff notice? Did the staff mop the bloody fo footprints and not splatter? She wants you to believe this is a RICO scheme like R. Kelly, and all these people were paid to clean up his messes, lie for him, lie, cheat, and steal for him, and they didn't care about Amber um, at all. That's what she wants you to believe with her testimony. Martin. Martin. Hi from Argentina. She can be impeached with the pose that was taken by PR when she was on the stand. You say impeached, she'd have to like lie about it in order for her to, to impeach it, but she can be questioned on it. Yes. We have hit 10,000 in the chat. Let's go. 10K all day. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're almost to 60K, and I want to do another giveaway tomorrow, so let's hit 60K before that or during that live so we can do another giveaway. Ashley Nicole, do you think Amber Heard looking at the jury was a good idea? Usually they say yes. Talk to the jury. Explain to the jury so you look at them when you're talking to them. Joanna and Co. I'm divorcing someone with borderline histrionic diagnosis. Listening to her talk of splitting is a BPD term they do when they're angry. Heidi, can the plaintiff side bring on more witnesses at any time as long as they have time left? They get rebuttal, and they can only rebut things that happen in the defendant's case in chief, which is basically everything in this case. So that's what the scope of it is. And they can't just go on forever. There is a time limit. The trials can only last six weeks. Ushi, odd the only injury picked are from that one tussle. I think there's been a couple from a couple different ones, but none of them are as significant as she explains. What is the court of public opinion, Team Zero said? That's what everybody thinks. That's what everybody thinks on YouTube, on Twitter, what everybody's talking about, on the media channels, the Q score we heard about from the Google guy. That's the court of public opinion. And you can lose the trial, and Johnny, like Johnny could lose the trial legally and still win the court of public opinion, meaning everybody believes Amber Heard's the abuser. He's the victim. He gets the parts again. People trust him. They love him again. They feel sorry for him because he had to go through this. So that's the court of public opinion versus the actual courtroom. Ashley Kimball, I think she styled herself today after the late Judge Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Interesting. SH, has any attorney directly asked JD if he ever hit Amber? Yes, they asked him that on the stand. Stephanie Bland, my first observation of her up until now reminds me of Jody Arias, made up abuse, etc. Do you agree? I see some differences. I, I do see some differences there. Rock Limestone, fun fact, J.D. and A.H. is first ever movie seen together, Rum Diaries. J.D. ends the line, oh, God, why did I have to meet her just when I was doing so good without her as Amber is swimming away? D-Rock Limestone, bring in some irony. Google user, picture of her in evidence today shows calendar of January 2015 on the refrigerator. Despite her testimony, it was December of 2015. Is that a problem? Well, oh, you mean that? I mean, she didn't flip the page. I don't think that really proves anything, but you guys are like detectives, I swear. A lot of you should be private eyes. Um, that could just mean that at least it wasn't the other way around where she said it was December of 2015 and it was a January of 2016 calendar. That would be weirder. Um, but, you know, I, I don't necessarily know what that proves, but if a jury wants to nitpick and see it, then they could think she was lying. Court of Public Opinion, Shepherd forward, Shepherding forward, answered this one. Hopefully you heard it. Uh you say Amber Heard could take two court public opinion means. Okay, 
So everybody had the same question about, I guess, about the court of public opinion. And I think I've answered that at length now. So we should be good. Mama Wonderlist. With AH's lies about the makeup for bruises, lying about donating the seven mil, I think she's lying. And the best acting she did today was when she stepped back from Johnny as if in fear. Um, I think that's the point is they're trying to say, as Hogue Law says, she's a lying liar who lies. I think that's what they're trying to say. Susie, she called his kids weird in a nice way. What? Again, she was trying to make that endearing, but it missed with me as well. Dr. Shell, out of curiosity, is it considered unethical to comment on ongoing cases like it is for physicians? Meaning if I'm a lawyer on the case, yes. Well, it's not unethical to comment to the press or say, we feel like we're fighting for justice. We feel like we're fighting for Johnny, things like that. It would be unethical for them to comment on how Amber Heard's doing on the witness to enter that she's a liar or something like that. Um, and it's not unethical for outside lawyers like the people that are doing on YouTube like me um, to comment about it. Nothing unethical about that. Justin Jones, her opening statement was directly from the talented Mr. Ripley verbatim. Hope someone catches that. I literally said that on Rakeda's show as soon as the words came out of her mouth. It reminded me of that. I read it on last night's show. I don't think it was verbatim, but I think it was really close. I could be wrong. Maybe it was verbatim because I know it, it clicked in my head, but I think it was very similar. John Quinn, pros and cons of dating Johnny Depp. Pros, I love him. Cons, he beats me, violates me with a bottle, and threatens to murder me with a broken bottle. Next, pros slash con, bottle ownership. Can JD ask for a public apology if he wins? He can ask, uh, but that's not something that can become as part of the judgment. But in a settlement, he could ask for that. If they end up settling, saying, fine, you don't need to pay me the $50 million if he wins that. Pay me a dollar and give me a public apology. He can ask for that. Dogs and film. Is there a time limit for audio to show the jury during a trial for each side? Is there a limit for witnesses? How long can this trial be? There is a limit that they agree with on the beginning of the case. Usually the parties have to agree. The judge has to agree. Then you're held to that time limit. But within that time limit, you're not usually limited on playing relevant evidence. As long as it's relevant, as long as it's admissible, as long as you're not badgering or doing something to annoy the other side, there's no limit individually. Daniel Jean or Jean. Is there anything Amber Heard would say to completely ruin this case for her? Yes, she can say, I lied when I wrote that op-ed. That's about the only thing she can do to say, um, to lose this case. I lied because I wanted to hurt Johnny and I was mad. If they can get her to say that on cross, it's over. Put a fork in her. Sheila, I couldn't follow her story. She didn't provide details of the incident. She's trying to say he hit her all the time, but does not give a timeline of what happened. She doesn't have any pictures. I agree. That's common consensus today. How diverse is the jury? A lot of them embellish... A lot of the embellishment and delivery, her and Karen remind me of Amy Cooper, Central Park 911. I don't know. We've talked about this. I don't know for sure what the jury makeup is. More male than female seems to be the only thing I can get. Catherine Van Omeren. It's hard to read that. Um, thank you for the super chat. Melissa Damron Folkerts. <laughs> After all of that abuse, beatings, threats, Binders, this light is annoying me, so it's it's going off. Sorry if it's a little darker or annoying here, but it was flickering. Um, after all the drug uh, benders, you buy him a knife with te till death engraved because that's what one does. I agree. It's a very strange thing. Um, and somebody asked me yesterday, and we have a ton of new followers on Twitter and Instagram. My Twitter and Instagram handle is right here, at Tragos Law. So if you want to check us out there, follow us there. We do videos and posts on there as well, and we interact with a lot of people on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to follow us there, take a second, go do that. But before you do that, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's the biggest thing we do and the most time we put into and the most fun we have, and hit the like button on the video. Danielle Fair, thank you. Audrey Jensen, how does Amber Heard know what Johnny Depp is wearing every day to mirror his outfits? I don't know. It started out that she was doing the next day, which obviously we know how she knows then, but I don't know how she's mirroring in some days. Catherine, again, after her testimony, and there is her rebuttal, there is her a rebuttal, does she get to go back on the stand? So after her case in chief, she can technically have a rebuttal, but only on her counterclaim. Because when you're the plaintiff of a claim, you can have a rebuttal if it's necessary to respond to just that scope. She can't come back on and defend against Johnny's claim. She can't come on and just say the same stuff. Kind of has to be new evidence based on her counterclaim. I wouldn't expect her to have a rebuttal, but we'll see. 
Um, injured nose versus broken nose. Does a broken nose change the bridge if not set? Not all broken nose. JE, this is your question. Not all broken noses need to be reset. Not all broken noses result in a crooked nose. Christina Liberty would love more polls in the chat. How many are for JD? Rachel, go ahead and put a poll up in the chat. Who's for JD and Amber Heard and who's for Amber Heard? I think it's going to be 90% for, for Johnny Depp at this point um, on the poll. Not that's that's where I'm leaning. Um, Hungry Helmet. Calendar on fridge of her kitchen showed January 15th, so more than one person picked this up, which to me starts to indicate maybe the jury picked up on it. Rachel Steidel, thank you for the super sticker. Alyssa. If you were Johnny Depp's lawyer, what would be going through your mind after today? Strategies. I would rewatch the testimony. I'd prep with her deposition and everything very specifically, um, what I could impeach her with, um, and I'd be ready for a very long cross. Sylvia S. It comes down to whether the jury believes the assault with a possibly broken bottle story. If they believe, then Johnny Depp loses. If they don't, then Johnny Depp wins. Live, 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 live. She's using illegal recordings in the trial, and that shows that she's trying to set him up. If anything, she said today was real. She would have recorded at least most of it if it really happened. If you're somebody who records something, then you would think the very important and big events would be something you'd catch on recording. I agree with you there. Tommy Stockbridge. If one good thing's come, one good thing comes out of this trial, I hope it's awareness that men can be victims too. I think that that is something that I saw some therapist post on Twitter saying more men have called him in the last three weeks than ever before, and they've actually mentioned Johnny Depp, um, saying that they are victims of abuse. Jenna, H's no date pictures could show Johnny Depp wasn't even in LA. Exactly, that's why the metadata can be so important for the alibi. Sherry Qualls, I'd like to see Diane Menashe cross-examine Amber Heard. It's going to be Camille. Um, I, we're usually in trials and how it goes. One lawyer is allowed to do the objections, the cross-examination or que question the witness. And it's only one lawyer as to not confuse the judge and make things, um, stay smooth and easier. Amber Heard said her nose was swollen and broken yet the next night on James Corden show, she was animated scrunching up her nose. Wouldn't that hurt your poor broken nose? And that's the thing is I'm seeing some of these pictures on Twitter. Like this was the day after this fight or this picture was taken the day after this fight, or she was on James Corden. If that's all true, Johnny Depp's lawyer should absolutely have all of it and impeach her with it. Now, I don't know if it's true or not, and I would love to hear her say, oh, I was wearing makeup. That covered up all my black eyes, my busted lip, my bleeding lip, my broken nose, and my bloody nose. Seaman Cask. Hello, new subscriber from England. Amber Heard's team are letting her be too detailed and too animated. I don't think it'll do her any good. Love your channel. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I I think that they are letting her get too detailed, and it's it's backfiring, I think, so far. We are at 11,000 in the chat. Let's go. It's awesome. Another 10,000 day, Luis. Another 11,000 day. It's awesome. Thank you for being here. Damon Barbie. Did they open the door for impeachment when asked about having to apply makeup before a show in late 2015? Um, I don't know if you put this in twice or if we're just answering it twice, but yeah, I think all the makeup stuff and again, all the Corden show and the pictures, let her explain how she puts on this makeup. Let us bring out the Milani makeup. We haven't heard that yet, I don't think. Um, let's hear about that. I think the more details, the more you have to impeach her with. Johnny dated Kate Moss, so she brought up past relationship, opening up her past relationships. Not necessarily. Minnesota Mickey, changing the topic, kind of. I would like to see sales of her movie before she testify and then after she testify, the names of the movie, explicitly the Run, Rum Diaries. Yeah, very interesting. I've actually never seen Rum Diaries. I am going to watch it after this trial. Um, but I want to see how she's going to describe how she has $100 million damages when she's never made $100 million. I guess she, they thought maybe she was going to go to the moon or they were going to start a new uh, superhero franchise after her. I don't know. Where were the pics of the destroyed clothes? She took pics of the mirror, but not one of the tub of clothes. Brittany, I think we're all noticing that there's a lot of things that she didn't take pictures of that she probably should have. Shepherding forward. Do you get money for the super chats? Yes, I know YouTube takes a fee. There's a couple different places that take a fee. I think I end up with like 50% of it at the end or something. That's what Riketa said. I'm totally basing it off that. I have no idea how much money goes through here if I'm being honest with you. 
Uh, Sonia Hart, Courtney Ingley, in Ingley. AH thought JD was punching her pelvic bone because of the pressure she felt, then leaned, then learned it was a bottle. Was she a low budget porn actress at some point? Yeah, very weird. Again, the descriptions there and the details make it easier for someone like you to pick it apart. Honestly, that's what they do. Asked that question already. I enjoy the content. Thank you, Damon. You rock. Appreciate it. Glad I got the question. It was so nice. I answered it twice. Dave Langton. She said, I can't do this anymore. And I thought it was over. Nope. She also detached and dehumanized herself from him with he, husband, then person. Thank you, Dave. Alan Girl. Thanks for your time and informative content. Any idea who the lady is that arrives to court Johnny? With Johnny, I assume you mean. I do not know. Like I said, I don't know a lot of the players in this game. Um, I have not been following it for years like a lot of other people have. I tried to come in, into it with a juror or like a juror with not a lot of knowledge. Gosh, we're already getting up to an hour. I was hoping this would just be an hour show and tomorrow be an hour show, but we are about to break records in the chat here. And if we can get to 12,000, then obviously I'll stick around. Brandy Posada. What did you think of JD smirking, laughing when she testified he took out his pee to urinate outside while intoxicated? Again, it's it's a normal response to me, I think. Carrie Barton, what is that man taking pictures for in the audience? Appreciate all you do to explain things. Yes, thank you. Um, PR team taking pictures for her, trying to win the court of public opinion. That's why she got the new uh, PR team. Amy G. Hi, Peter. Did you do any legal malpractice cases? We have handled a couple, but we also work with some lawyers that do it as well. Um, so it's definitely something we can talk about for sure. And you can email me, lawyer, you know, at gmail.com or look up our website, tragoslaw.com. Find our uh, phone number, all of our information about our firm, our lawyers, our credentials, our CV, everything's on there. Um, Ann Mayer. Does the judge know the rules of evidence? Also, is there a procedural mechanism to have a witness entire testimony struck? For example, Dr. Hughes? No, not real. I mean, yes, you could, but there'd have to be some real serious wrongdoing. I wouldn't expect um, her, anybody's entire testimony to get completely struck. And yes, I think the judge does know the rules of evidence. Um, what was the, what's the first question you'd ask AH on cross? Uh, did you write, or you wrote the op-ed about Johnny, correct? That's the first question I'd ask. Five plus broken noses equals he did not mom, not me. Gosh. Thank you, objection. Heard say, John Amato, is there anything like diminished capacity in this? No, Th those are not the disorders that they're talking about. They're, they're not that type of disorder. Stephanie Bland, reminds me of Jody Rice. Okay, so that's two people that says it, or it reminds them of them. I'm not a Jody Rice expert, so that could be one reason why. I have seen some of it, but... Lisa Mao, abusers tend to isolate their victims from their friends and families, not invite them to move in, doesn't fit the profile. This goes to a person-by-person -person standard and what their experiences are, so it would depend on what the jury thinks in a scene. Tips. Sending a shirt to Netherlands would give you globe-wide fame. What about that? On subject, as SA devise, a, a survivor myself, testimony felt very uncomfortable. Tips. Make sure you subscribe and get on our community page and answer questions because hopefully if enough people out of these 11, I mean, we have 11,000 people on here. There's way more than 3,000 people that are not subscribed to our page. If they all go and subscribe, we're going to do another giveaway tomorrow if we can hit 60K. Isa Mello, today's testimony was, wow, I agree. Uh, Ron Berner, needing claims doesn't match damage. Only innocuous picks, yet obviously claims would result in way more devastating picks. I agree. Broken nose, massive bleeding, and heavy double black eyes every time, and it lasts for a long time. And makeup can't always cover it up. Rook 13, AH and Hughes did a lot of looking at the jury. Hughes, when the defense was questioning her, how impactful do you think that tactic is going to be in the face of other factors? Johnny Depp's, a couple of Johnny Depp's witnesses did as well. It's not uncommon to look at the jury as you're testifying. I think it depends on whether the jury likes them or not. Just the fact that they testified, I don't think, is the end-all be-all. Alex Roussel, thank you. Trickster Factory. Factory. It's weird how she recuperated so fast after telling the abuse. Her voice was always almost the same, all the time, same tone. And her change in demeanor and affect just seems so weird. Mick it up. 
What is the law on the judge discussing this case with anyone while court is not in session? Hi from Sarasota. Great jurisdiction. A bunch of cases there. I love that jurisdiction. Um, she shouldn't. The judge should not should not discuss any active cases with anybody um, while court is not in session. I'm sure it's going to be hard at the judicial conference. All the other judges are probably going to want to talk about it with her. Um, but no, unethical. Can't do it. Got to stay above even an appearance of impropriety. Randall. The beating that she describes on the stand would have put her in the hospital. Any of those occasions, her story, story does not seem believable. Jillian, this is the 30-second 30, 30 clip of her startled and scared of Depp after stepping off the stand today. Seems a bit forced. I will have to check it out because I have not actually seen that. Kim Rodriguez, how did they decide to do this in six weeks? The judges and the lawyers, sorry, the judge and the lawyers agreed to it and the parties agreed to it. They agreed to it. They said this is how much time we need. I don't know if they asked for more or less, but this is what they landed on after agreement for everybody involved. Melissa Damron Fulkerts. Uh, imagine if the jurors buy Amber Heard's story after the trial, they see what the court of public opinion has been saying. LOL. That's true. You never want to, you know, shock the world. Lauren, Pete, you're doing an amazing job. Everyone needs to relax. Thank you. I agree. Like, Relax. I, I do not send your money if you are going to get angry if I miss your question. Okay? Do not send your money. Um, I'll answer as many as I can. Uh, Pete, you're doing an amazing job. Everyone needs to relax. Thank you. In your experience, do juries consider prior lies, Amber lying about donating? Do they do this at the end and consider it? So in part of the jury instructions during closing, you say, take the totality of what you know about this witness and you have to determine whether or not they're credible. And they're going to have a slew of things that are inconsistent or don't line up or public inaccuracies, public lies from Amber, like I donated this money. So, yes, I think it can absolutely come into play because she's a witness too. the pick of the arm bruise she had on the iPhone for three from three years earlier. Not great. Moon shadow blue jurors have 10 days to think a percentage that made sense to think made to think 0% of that made sense. I get what you mean. Long break here at Mary something, something about. So if she loses and does not have a hundred million, how does Johnny get his money? Does she just claim bankruptcy? Yes, she can. And he doesn't get paid. Yes, that can be an outcome. Unfortunately of a lot of uh, judgments or verdicts, but he can try to attach assets and squeeze the money out of her some way. What are the chances that she'll be found of perjury, in your opinion, very, very low. It's unfortunately very unusual, even when people lie on the stand. Kim, key on the side. Can JD's lawyer ask more detail on the abuse without being too insensitive? Can it go both ways? I trip her up or offer for the jury. I probably wouldn't do that. I would probably just talk about how inconsistent her details are rather than asking for more details. That's a scary uh, bridge you don't want to cross. Thank you, Cloud. Cloud Red Barrett, Red Barrett. Daniela Kay, sorry if this has been asked before, but her facial expressions while testify give you the impression she was always trying to force a frown and look sad. Absolutely. I felt that way when she was sitting over a council table as well. Some of it really feels forced. Thank you, Cloud Red Barrett. Beeble Hope, in your experience and based on cases you know about, even if not yours, do you think saying things like jurors are smarter than you think is true? It depends on the person, right? Is the person sitting next to you smarter or dumber than you think? You really don't know. So some of them probably are, some of them are not. Alex Michal, when we say it on the lawyer streams, we mean when we say jurors are lapia, we mean they don't think like us because law school teaches you how to think different. It really does. That's what they all say. What are your thoughts on her constant change in speech from past to present tense? Things like saying X happened and then he starts la and then going he starts laughing. Somebody said they think that's an indication of she's about to lie. We're almost to 12,000. Go tell your friends and hit the like button so more people jump in here for the last uh, few minutes of this. Lisa Mack, thank you. Judy, thank you. Columbia Valley Media. Recent trend with body language experts. Body language analysis is pseudoscience nonsense and is <coughs> not taught at accredited institutions. Dangerous to accuse people of lying based on pseudoscience. That's why I say I am not the expert on that. I can't use that as evidence in court. I don't know how to use that as evidence in court. I've never crossed or used an expert on that. So that's tough. Way Brenda, you are my favorite lawyer. I'm going to send you a message about a class action case. I trust you. Awesome. Send it away. Christine Ventura. You think a cup, you think, sorry, you think having cut up feet in a bottle in her would have gone to the ER or doctor or seeing Elon right when you got home from LA 
after being in pain doesn't line up. Truth, lies, opinions. Newbie and you're gorgeous. Well, thank you. I'm a survivor and she is not. I remember every detail. Hard to forget. Can she be charged criminally for blatant lies? She's accused him of something heinous, act crime. She's evil. Seems like at this point, this is the only repercussion she's going to see from this. Not guaranteed, but very unlikely for any criminal charges to come her way. David Chadwick, great point. Casey Anthony was guilty in the court of public opinion. Thank you, Linda Poulin. Amber, this is from Medic. Amber is creating a huge burden for her lawyers to prove by creating such a polarizing difference between her stories and Jay's stories. I agree. And creating a monstrous mountain of a man that Johnny Depp is this huge abuser. Esta T, thank you. Susie is watching from Melbourne and loves the analysis. Thank you. MCJ, if any of this were true, she would have sued for millions long ago. I agree. Although that divorce settlement, maybe she could say she thought was part of that suit. That's why she got $7 million because he was an abuser. I know people that have worked things like that into their divorce settlement. But you better believe if that was in the release, we'd be seeing it. Janet Howgate, type too fast. I meant you're not paying attention to me. You missed my previous super chat. Okay. Thank you, Janet. Uh, Melanie, since the lawyer, the lawyer can't talk to Amber Heard, will they use the PR guy to prepare her? They can't talk about her testimony. I hope not, but that would still count as her lawyer's talking to her. But her PR guy can talk to her. Kelly DeBetz, would JD and AH have to stay in town during the break? No. Daniel Jean, nice channel. Congrats from Brazil here, by the way. Awesome. And again, we're so close to 12,000, but not quite there. Let's see if we can get there. Thank you, Courtney. Miss Ava, why is it hearsay to testify that you yourself said a particular thing to someone else? Thank you, Miss Ava. I had this in my notes and forgot to talk about it. Um, it's an out-of-court statement, right? So you can't say, I said this to try to prove it's true because it's self-serving hearsay, and it bolsters your testimony to say, I even said it at the time. So you can't say that. It's just a rule of law. I know it seems weird, but that's the truth. You can say what the opposing party said. There is an exception for that. Paulina Valdez, the bottle essay was from the movie Paris Trout on YouTube forward to 42 minutes. Wow. It is weird how there are so many things lining up like that. Thumbs up, everyone. Thank you. I love your channel. Thank you, DC Babos. And yes, hit that like button. Janie, did you know Amber Heard was a movie makeup artist before her big break? Yes, she testified to it. And we talked about it in my last video. That can be used against her, I think. Catherine, I believe she is literally recounting the things that she actually did. Lost lips sink, loose lips sink ships. Domestic Zoom Mom, if JD receives a $50 million judgment, Amber Heard isn't worth much. If she files for bankruptcy, she can she get out of paying him. It's possible. Color Me Brave. Amber Heard has 12 pictures showing Johnny and his addiction passed out, but not one picture of her. Bruises of abuse in Australia. Great point. Because that does show she took a picture every chance she got when it was something good for her. I'm a DAV and I wouldn't have been able to talk about it um, I was with my abuser, the was she did, and she supposedly went through more. Oh, so you're saying her abuse that she's saying Johnny, um, did is worse than the abuse you suffered, yet you even wouldn't be able to talk about it. Uh, Lisa Mack, is it a bad thing, JD, looking down so much? I don't think so. I think it's kind of what an abused victim would do, um, and nobody can judge him for his facial expressions that way. Appreciate you staying on so late to give us your perspective. It's awesome. So thank you. Thank you, Google loser. User. Google user. I'm sorry. Sorry. For that. I felt like Elaine calling you the wrong name there, Dr. Curry. Um, Lizzie Dalton, Dr. Curry needs to change the diagnosis to sociopath.
Why is the attorney sitting next to Johnny holding up the yellow paper pad? Um, holding it up. I don't know why he's holding it up. They're probably talking to each other using notes. Doug D, how do you not remember the essay, but remember the punches don't hurt? Agreed. Helena, what do you think about JD not looking at her? I've answered that one. I don't think it's a bad move. I really don't. Leanne Guerrero Buckley, thank you. Magical Mary, why was the attorney holding the yellow pad by JD? Is it so no one can take pics of what he's doing? Oh, maybe. Maybe to cover up what he's doing? Possibly. I'm here live. Thoughts, opinions on the judge. I noticed she's all over the place on objections. Love you. Thank you. I really don't think she does a good job making calls on objections. I think she's very nice. I like her demeanor. She's prompt. She's keeping the trial moving. But she's really missing some of these objection calls and, and, and admissibility calls. Uh, thank you, Denise. Brittany Watts, what does AH have to say to bring in her DV on her ex-wife that I've never been accused of abusing anybody before? I've never done this before. Um, I have no history of this, things like that. Robin's review. Anyone see TikTok of Amber Heard stating JD? Um, um, somebody said you just lost a subscriber, Google user. Nah, Google user's sticking. They're, they're an OG. I know they're sticking. That was, that, was a, that was a miss by me. That was a mistake. My bad. Anyone see TikTok of Amber stating JD had a really large vintage jar of cocaine cut to Captain Jack with a really large vintage jar or something white? I did not see that. Catherine McKay. JD's scribbling on the mirror was illegible. The lipstick call Carly Simon's babe was perfectly punctuated and looked like a woman's writing. Another, or Amber denies writing this, a ghost maybe. Acrid. All the pictures she took in Australia, she managed to stay out of all the pictures in the mirrors after being violently beaten. Good point. Agat Guam, thank you. Amy Lou, hey, let her keep spewing lies. The more she talks, the the more she talks lies, the more Johnny's lawyer will rip her apart, poses for PR with wiping her nose. I agree. Ann Scotton, the judge said the trial will be over before Memorial Day, and she's monitoring time used by each side. Amber Heard lied about J.D. tossing Kate Moss down the stairs a few years ago. Um, yes, the judge will monitor the time. So is that what the Kate Moss stuff is? She says he threw her down the stairs. I don't recall that. I'll have to watch it back again. Stacey Petrie, I'm a JD fan, but I feel like everyone is on the JD bandwagon because of who he is. I'm a DV Vic, and I want the truth no matter what. Am I the only one? No. It's exactly how I feel. I agree with you. Um, I'm not even really a Johnny Depp fan. I want the truth to come out in this case for sure, for justice's sake. Doug D, I haven't seen physical evidence of the bruises um, or JD. I agree. She can't eat. She is not even saying this happened that day, and these bruises are from that day. She is not even connecting these pictures. Probably because she already didn't do it in her depot and can't do it. Diane Upshaw, fellow Greek here, Tikanis. I'll be the first to say that I am not buying her testimony, but let's be careful with the no true Scotmans. No true Scotmans. I don't know what that means. Not everyone behaves the same in the shadow of abuse. I agree with you 100%. And that's why I'm trying to take it kind of piece by piece, seeing, you know, what can be corroborated, what can't, and why it's not being corroborated. All right. AH's team is going way too hard with the JD substances, CJOJ. I mean, that's all they talk about, it feels like. Janet Howgate, iPhone AH used to take the pick of her bruises on arm was not even out. Then do the Johnny D lawyers, bruises on her arm was not even out. So the iPhone that she uses was not even out based on the timeline. Yes, they can use this stuff. They can use these timelines to impeach her and show that what she's saying can't be true. We hit 12,000. Let's go. Hit that subscribe button. Get us to 30K and another giveaway tomorrow. That's awesome. You guys rock. This is fun. Bruce Parker, let's hear from some of Amber Believers. What is being missed, guys? Yes, let's hear from them. Autumn, maybe tomorrow let's hear from them because I, I, I want to wind down here. AH's team disorganized with evidence. Judge was annoyed. Agreed. Light giver. If you want to see real injuries due to beatings, go back and look at photos of Christy Mack who was beaten by War Machine. Johnny's rings would have caused major damage. I saw somebody put a side-by-side -side of Amber and Rihanna after she was beat, and there's quite a difference. Thank you so much, Ashley May. Uh, Florina, how about that psychologist that manipulated the assessment test, scoring her PTSD before her PTSD diagnosis? She wasn't checking some of the boxes. Not a good look. Not how you want to do that. Uh, thank you, Rock TV 100. 
Christina Guciardo. Hi from Oldsmar. That's like literally backyard. Very ignorant to court systems. How is a judge assigned to a case? Is it random or picked? It's random. So sometimes you can pick jurisdictions, but the, there are mo most jurisdictions have multiple judges and they randomly get assigned cases. Precious 81, interested in witnesses and dots that can back up this wild story, if any. Johnny's team was well prepared. I do want to see that too. I want to see corroboration. And before I make a final decision on whether I think Amber's telling the truth, no matter what I think about her demeanor and how she's talking, I want to see what corroborating witnesses and evidence she comes up with. Laura Kirkgaard, do you think the judge sees through her elaborate lies and stories and overacting? The judge isn't the one making the final decision, so it's going to be up to the jury to see through that. Hubcap Diamond Star Halo, thank you for the super chat. Awesome. Law and Crime Site said jurors were looking at Amber Heard and some taking notes. Almera S. So that could be an indication it's working, her looking at them. Brianna Shaw, she mentioned Kate Moss. Can Johnny bring up her exes? It's not a one for one like that as far as how it goes with opening the door. Thank you, Steph Morris, for the super sticker. Boo Friedman, if California has mandatory reporting for healthcare workers, wouldn't there be a paper trail? If you lie about it, do they have to the right to sue? I mean, not necessarily have the right to sue if they lie about it, but they're mandatory reporters if it's happening, right? Not if she says I was abused four years ago. You don't mandatory report that. Angie Aileen, will the JDXs come to come and testify on his behalf, on his character, that he never did that to his exes? If they're on the witness list, potentially they could. He can also testify to it, and so can his friends like they all did, and his sister did, and people already did testify to that. Yvonne DeMont, what about her dogs in Australia? What about them? I don't know if you're talking about the video or picture of her holding her dog out the window, which she accused him of, him of which is weird. A healthy woman is from De Denny Reynolds. A healthy man would never have been attracted to her. Why could she not say what she said? How is that hearsay? It's part of the rules. It's an out-of-court statement made by the uh, to offer for the truth of the matter asserted, and you can't say it. You can only say what you observed, what you were there for, what you experienced, what you meant, what you thought. You can do all that. You can't just say, I said this, because the reason for that would be you're saying that you said it contemporaneously, and it would bolster it. Like, think about this. If I said, I think I'm an abuse victim. And I said, you know, at the time I was being abused, I said, I'm a victim. That's bolstering. Versus at the time I was being abused, I felt this, I did that, I saw that. It's just how the rules of evidence are. Violet Wolf, can they bring experts to point out the body language or lie detectors? No, that's that's not admissible evidence in any jurisdiction that I know of. Uh, thank you for the super sticker, Moon. 58.6K subs, nearly at 60, yo. Thank you, slumpage, slumpage. Um, let's get there, people. Thank you, your liliness. Uh, Sherry, last name. Pick of broken glass, and AH said glass landed on her. My opinion, glass would have shattered behind her, not on her. Makes sense. Yeah, but I think a glass could hit you and not break. I think that's possible. Sports bad calls. How come Johnny submitted all his phone records um, $400. Oh, this is the one. Okay. I got a text from somebody saying that you said you meant to give $4, not $400. I have no idea what we need to do. Uh, if you can, I don't know if you can ask for a refund on YouTube. Um, I can see how much comes to my account through this $400 chat. Um, and then I will absolutely refund you that. Um, I can't refund the fees that YouTube and the other people take. Um, but I will, I will refund you the whole thing, not even keep the $4. Um, but see if you can request a refund from YouTube. And if they ask me, I'll say, yes, absolutely. Refund sports bad calls the, the money. Um, how come Johnny submitted all his phone records to the court and she has refused to? What can anyone do? And wouldn't you think she didn't because there is stuff that will sink her? Yes, and they can get a curative uh, instruction from the judge. Um, which is something I talked about in length at another video. In another video, should she plead the fifth on the op-ed question? No, she probably wouldn't be able to because if it's outside the statute of limitations, she wouldn't have a reasonable belief that it could lead to criminal um, investigation. Almighty Nick, you remind me of a WWE star, Seth Rollins. I don't know who that is, but I'll have to look it up. Thank you. I think uh, Christopher Bolt. Just started watching your channel. Doing great, man. Thank you, Christopher. Hopefully, you're subscribed by now and. Following us on social media, if you haven't checked it out yet, uh, Trago's Law right here is our handle on all there. All the new subs are awesome. Thanks for joining us. This has been so fun just 
getting bigger every night. It's fun. More people in here to talk. T. Odom, did you see the statement by Amber Heard's PR team? Yikes, I did not. You should always put the quote in here if you ask me, did I see something? Uh, Regan C., how does the court slash Amber Heard's team access to all of JD's texts in the last 10 years? He must have come out in discovery. Haunting Hollywood, if I pay double, can I whine about missed questions? <laughs> well, apparently so, but please don't. I'd rather not hear the whining and not make the money. Uh, Wishy Y, the trial is the win for Johnny Depp. No prize money needed. Tammy, as an RN, broken nose equals two weeks of very black eyes and swelling. Wow. Uh, Rock TV, will Sue or the flight attendants be brought as a witness? If not, why? Yesterday there was a T2 reference about the number of bones and arms. Um, I think we already have heard some stuff from somebody on the flight. I don't think we're going to hear from the um, flight attendants because you got to draw the line somewhere. Hi, is there a possibility of her... Of her team citing PTSD inability, inhibiting her from going too far in a cross examination. I'm happy to be a newish sub. Thank you, Moon. It feels like I've seen your name a lot. Um, no, that would not work. That would absolutely not work, especially after days of her doing fine on direct. Christopher Bowles, do you think JD can redeem his career after this case? I hope so. I think I can see people getting behind a redemption story. We seem to like that here in this country. Robin, thank you. It's Carmel Bennett. How would a lawyer highlight to the jury that she has hundreds of photos of him passed out and nothing credible of her abuse? Thanks for your coverage. Just ask her. You don't have any pictures of that, do you? You don't have any pictures of this. You don't even know when this arm bruise picture was. You don't know when this picture was. Go through it. Take your time with it. Daniel Jean, do you think the psychological condition could work against Johnny Depp like she wasn't aware she was a victim of herself? Now, that's the only way I could see it may have some kind of play because um, it's not a psychosis, but she's saying, in my mind, I'm a victim. It could. So if you win but lose public opinion and you lose, depends on who you ask, Carrie. You can lose when you win or win when you lose, or you can win when you win or lose when you lose. Elizabeth Allen Ball. Apologies if you already answered it. No big deal. But what's your Enneagram? You mentioned it before. I'm banking on five, but I'm more of a Myers-Briggs person. Either way, I love you from Vero Beach. I have family in Vero Beach that I love. I've had cases in Vero Beach. I'm not my favorite jurisdiction. Um, but I am an Enneagram eight, which most people can guess, or a lot of people can guess. Um, uh, five is somewhere on there. Not my lowest nine is my lowest, which is what my wife is. Myers Briggs. You have to remind me of that. I've taken that one too. And I can, I can tell you what my, whatever that is. Um, KMK truth had H A H just stuck to the truth. She would have had a way better chance of winning instead of whatever that was she did today, at least embellishing a little bit. It felt like. <laughs> Jessica Alter. Sorry, some people are rude on here. LOL. We appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah. And I'm like, it's like, guys, I, I don't, I don't want to be rude. I appreciate all of you. Uh, Leah J Jones, elements of water. Thank you for the super sticker. Your lilifiness. What happens if your client goes off script on the stand, like making stuff up? It's not great. You got to react. Um, if you know, it's not true, you got to try to rehab it and try to maybe stop the trial and talk to them. And the judge will let you because I can give the judge quite the indication that I this needs to happen. Red Velvet, the yellow pad was to block the view of the computer screen in front of JD. Oh, there are photographs in the gallery and they have published images. Okay. Gail, will they show her bringing men to Johnny's home? We've already seen her, I, I think. See, this is why I hate. I know that on Legal Bites we showed that. Maybe they haven't seen uh, the, the clip of her bringing John, James Franco, but I guarantee they will. Uh, dogs in film. Thank you for the super chat. How is Kathleen Zellner from making the murderer working with Johnny in this case? Why is she not present in court? So she could be there. I'm not sure if she's an appellate attorney, but she could be there taking notes for a potential appeal. And if they do appeal it, you want to have an attorney like that um, handling the appeal because you said making a murderer. I'm assuming she's not one of the public defenders that tried the case and lost, but maybe worked on the appeal where one of them won. Christopher Bowles, do you think Johnny can still make movies after this case? Absolutely. I think he's proven that he's a victim. Now, he may have some issues he needs to deal with, but absolutely, I think he can make movies. Tracia Sion, the story that Amber is telling is unbelievable. Johnny did all that, and still she still married him. Can a judge overrule a jury's verdict? No. They can bring down the money amount if they say like a billion dollars. Um, they can do something like that, but not just say, nope, this person wins. When will the case be over? 
I think they said before Memorial Day, so like end of May. Luciana Soler, great seeing you on Legal Bites. What's your view on today's AHS strategy? Next move, hi from Sao Paulo. <laughs> I was just sent the poll. Who do you believe, Johnny or Amber? I guess it was going to be 90, 10%. It is 97% Johnny and 3% Amber. So get the Amber believers in here. I want to hear from them. I want to talk to them. I want them to add to the discussion. People on this channel, we want to listen to it. We want to discuss it. We like diversity of thought. Um, what is her strategy? Her strategy seems to say, go big or go home. Explain this monster that is Johnny Depp since we used it in the text and how horrible he is. I think her next moves are going to double and triple down in continuing to tell the same stories of drug and alcohol abuse, of physical and, and SA, um, and how his kids were so disappointed and she did everything she could to save his life and he even said it. Boston Ross, watching from Brazil, loving your unbiased thanks. Thank you, Boston Ross. Brazil. Sari Vaughn. Can the judge order AH to a physical exam, MRI, CT, um, whatever she was going to order her to, she already has. I don't think they did anything like that. Can her past arrest be included only if they open the door, which I think they have, um, but it doesn't seem like they've gotten there yet. Marina L., are Amber's parents or sister testifying? I don't know who's going to testify for her yet. Gina Pecci, how can Amber Heard be so concerned, upset, confused, etc., about JH's drug abuse, then take mushrooms and have cuddle parties at her wedding, hypocrite, and MDMA? Ashley May, after the cross, do you know what will come next with all the time left? Hello from Clearwater, literally hometown girl here, Ashley May. Um, I don't know who's going to come next. Um, I think we are going to hear from a lot of fact witnesses. I think we're going to hear from more experts, medical experts. Um, I, I think they've got a lot of trial left in them, but I think the cross is going to be long. Georgina Lakaitis, hi from Australia. Ise Kuklos just subscribed. Thank you. I don't speak Greek in case anybody can't tell. I'm a disappointment. I didn't go to Greek school. All my friends did. It's my parents' fault, not mine. Um, I know some words. Uh, KMK Truth Serum. She doesn't remember a lot of her story. Shouldn't this make her much less credible? You would think so. Jamie, is the argument being made by Johnny's team actually very difficult to prove regardless of whether or not the jury has the opinion Amber is lying? Yes, it is difficult to prove that it's not constitutionally protected uh, opinion speech, in my opinion. Have you heard anything about Kathleen Zellner joining Johnny Depp's team? I just heard about it in the chat. I did not know about that, but we will keep tabs on it and see what she does. Truth never changes. Lies always do. She's full of it or full of and. Thank you, Georgina. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you, Crime Soap Opera. Asa Wonder. DV organization should put Amber on the spot for lying about DV, listening to her as trauma, traumatizing for real DV victims. Vekrits, quaaludes haven't existed since the 80s, by the way, and I haven't heard about it since the um, Bill Cosby trial. Thank you, Yvonne. And thank you for JC. Uh, crime soap opera, drug-induced marriage, both codependent. Seems that way. It does not. It seems like a rough relationship, like very toxic. Bonnie H. Amber had millions of reasons to marry Johnny and millions of reasons not to get a prenup. Bethy Quinteros. What is it like? What is the big deal with Kate Moss? I don't know yet. Again, because I don't know the whole outside story, but I think we may find out. Cody Moore. Thank you. <coughs> Yvonne. I'm just glad you pronounced my my name properly. My question about her dogs. Uh, will she be charged in Australia? I don't know. I've really honestly, um, and I'm sorry if you feel like this super chat was a waste. If you want to ask another question or shoot me an email with a question or something, I'm happy to answer it. I don't know what's going on with her dogs in Australia. I'm really laser focused on this case. I'm trying to block out as much outside noise so I can just try to make my decision as a juror would, which is hard for me, um, in this case, just about the evidence that came out in this case. Moon, only been subbed a week. Well, this week has been wild. Um, one more thing. When she began, she said, I'm here over an op-ed I wrote. Isn't that slightly contradictory to her lawyer stance? Thank you. So this is a good point. Lawyering sometime can be interesting. Just because something is true and you're going to admit it later doesn't mean that you want to keep the other side from having to prove it, right? So they wanted them to have to prove it in their case in chief because it is an element. And if they don't prove it in their case in chief, then they might win that 
motion to strike or to dismiss or directed verdict in the middle of the trial. That's what they tried to do. But everybody knows at this point, she wrote the op-ed. How long can cross go? There's no limit. It just can't turn, in, turn into an annoyance or badgering the witness or trying to bother her as long as it needs to take while knowing we still have the rest of the trial to get to. So the judge has to balance that. May 27th, J.J. Doe is closing statement. Same day as Stranger Things 4 and Obi-Wan. Uh, anywho, you may have answered this already, but what is metadata? Metadata is like the stuff on the back background or what? I'm not a huge tech guy, but like a picture. You can get an expert to pull that data to show when that picture was taken, where it was taken, who took it, the IP address, how it was posted, when it was posted, if it was posted anywhere, if it was text messaged anywhere, if it's ever been edited, and what other copies there are of it, and who's edited it, all that data that's behind the picture, you can get that out, and a picture is literally worth a thousand words. JC, AH posing for the camera, wiping tears, and waited for the shots to be taken. How do you feel about that, the judge and jurors? Makes me want to barf, if I'm being honest. Really makes me want to barf. Trevor Minor, PT, DPT, 59.1K subs. We are so close. There's 11,000 people in here. There's got to be 900 people that aren't sub. Take a second, go sub. Let's hit 60K tonight. Okay. Ooh, her sister can't testify because she never completed depositions, they said today. Is that on purpose, Michelle? I don't know why that would be on purpose. That seems rough. KD Fredder, confirm the bottle SA scene directly from Paris Trout movie. Yeah, somebody else said that. Um, scene at 42 minutes on YouTube. I will have to check that out. Somebody send it to me if you want. Ashley Deal, thank you so much. Tori, Tori, not Trio. I don't know why I dyslexically read it that way before. Tori is back. She did email me. I did talk to her about her missed super chat. We're all good. Thank you, Tori. I, I actually know a guy named Tori, so it could be a girl or a guy. Uh, Amber Heard is so unlikable. And Scotten, can you please explain why Amber Heard hasn't been compelled to turn over her phone text per the subpoena? Was that part of the evidentiary issues today? It seems like it. If a judge forced her to, I don't know why they're having trial. They could have put off the trial until they forced it out of her. I heard there's a pending sanctions motion. Maybe she deleted them so they don't exist anymore. I don't know, but something's going on there. Catherine, get some Windex. Arachnophobia. Scared of spiders equals scared of Amber. Thank you, Ashley Gillard. Sometimes hard to follow you, being lost in your eyes. I thought you were going to say Haunting Hollywood. You talk too fast. You're all over the place. I'm like, sorry. I'm trying to answer all these questions. They're coming all over the place. But then it was just very nice being lost in my brown eyes. My daughter has the most beautiful blue eyes from my wife's side, and it's always hilarious that I have these dark eyes, and my son is darker uh, complexion like me and eyes like me, so it's funny. Uh, Jessica, female lawyer for JD, was smiling all week but became fierce the past two days. It was cool to see how lawyers can turn it on, turn that on immediately. She's, she crushes. I like her style. Ronald, one or are numerous objections use a distraction tactic? Usually not. The judge will get annoyed. The jury will get annoyed. Everybody will get annoyed. You don't want to go overboard. But when it's necessary and you're winning sustained objections, then it's fair game. But I don't like that tactic of I'm going to break up their flow. I don't like that tactic. As somebody who actually tries cases, I think that's something people say that don't try cases because uh, doing it to, to disrupt the flow, when I've carefully crafted my questions to make sure they're not objectionable, it's annoying when you do that. And I, I consider that dirty pool. Dolly, thanks for your coverage. I want to believe Amber, but after the shards of glass went to the bed, like really also your skin looks great. What skin care to use me? Or are you talking about her? Uh, you may be talking about like her complexion and her redness and bruising. Her skincare still looks so great. So that's kind of funny. My skincare routine is a bar of soap. That's what I wash my face with in the shower. Um, all right. Shepherding forward. Will trial go longer if all wanted witnesses on Amber Heard's side haven't been able to speak. I think the judge is going to do everything she can, as you can tell from her promptness, that this trial is not going to go over. So they're going to have to figure out how to get this done in six weeks. We are almost done here. Another hour and a half episode. Jada Plant, hi from Tennessee. But I did notice that Amber Heard didn't have a tear come down her face. The fake crying, just don't believe her. Uh, Cody Moore, justice for the mattress, third degree murder. Hernan Mitz, Kathleen Zellner is currently working on the Depp case from the beginning. Check Kathleen's website. She's a public defender in Minamata. Min um, Last Depp movie is amazing. 
Christine Ventura. Amber said Johnny held their dog out the window, but there's a video of Amber holding the dog out the window. Yes, I agree with you. I mentioned that earlier. Seems wild. It also seems wild that we're going to end this video with 12,000 people in the chat. You all are animals. Um, thank you for being here. We got one more super chat in, I think, here. Soul Garden, thoughts on Amber pretending to be scared of the JD video. What do you expect from her at this point? Um, so all 12,000 of you, hopefully you're subscribed. If not, go hit the subscribe button so we can hit 60K by tomorrow's live and catch me again here. Get your questions answered. Get a recap of the second part of the day today, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, thank you for joining us today. This was a lot of fun. Um, do we have more Super Chats coming in? All right, let's take take a time out on the Super Chats. I appreciate them, but save them for tomorrow. Uh, Siotha Vest will be the last one we read. How does anyone have the worst day ever and go to bed after the incident? Did I already read that? Maybe this is just way behind. Yeah, I think this is way behind. Okay, you guys all rock. Um, follow us on Twitter and Instagram right here at Tragos Law. Hit that like button, please. Yes, I'm tired too, uh, Annalie. Um, let's all go to bed now, but come back two o'clock tomorrow on this channel. Hit the live, hit the reminder bell. Make sure you're there. You guys rock. This was fun. I'm out of here.